all right i'm not sure like what's going on because i went to just start the game like you know start recording and junk and uh it's speaking to me so uh, i guess we're just gonna see what the game has to say i guess i don't know i guess before we get started can i just say something thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game a lot of people don't take that step seriously they just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day but you're actually taking the time to set the clock and i appreciate that that's how i know that you care about this experience you're paying attention i don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting it are correct tell you what i'll make you a deal since you've been so cooperative next time you boot up the game and see the screen just set the clock to your favorite time go ahead pick whichever time you want even if it's not the correct time you earned it all right i'll let you get back to the video game now What? <laughs> what? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your favorite Moldy or Moldy Milk, and today we are back playing Stanley Parable. I don't know what that intro was. I'm not sure why the game was just like, hey, I'm gonna break the fourth wall now, but uh, it just did, so. The new content that we're experiencing may not be very impressive to the narrator, but I think it's awesome. So I'm excited to get back into it. I hope you guys are too. So without further ado, let's get into it, baby. What? Dude, no way. This game has checkpoints? Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that's gonna save me so much time. Let's go. Okay. Uh, well... Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Oh, there's branching breath. There's, there's branching... There's... there's Banching Prats. Okay, there's there's a door up there. Oh, but it's a vent. We've gone through doors before. I want to see what's inside the vent. Oh, this is so cool. New content. It's weird. Uh, this game looks really good, but they kept the same Stanley Parable like graphic style. It's kind of strange. I like okay. it a lot. You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it yeah. got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Yeah. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. <laughs> the gates to Office Holler have been opened. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. This is really pretty. This reminds me of, uh, what's it called? Um, The Beginner's Guide, I believe it was called. Made by the same people who made Stanley Parables. Parable really pretty you see stanley doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful stanley parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release remember back in october of 2013 when the game originally launched back then video games had integrity back then it all meant something oh the waste this is pretty cool actually 2013 The Memory Zone Temp Stanley Parable Buy on Steam Galactic Cafe Game Good Times You know what's kind of cool about this too is whenever I personally see like a wall of pictures like this I never really did that but I always thought it was really cool but you kind of have that in your mind like he's talking about a physical manifestation of his memories where he's put like all of his favorite memories in like a physical adaptation where in our minds we actually have as long as you know you don't end up having short-term long-term memory loss or alzheimer's you can just kind of store this kind of wall of memories and pictures and, and thoughts in your mind and uh 
I don't know, it's kind of reassuring to think about that. Smile because it happened. A trip down memory lane. A dollar bill. The Stanley Parable demonstration. Unachievable, I remember that. Go outside, don't play for five years. Oh, I didn't know that was an achievement. <laughs> Hmm. New video game releasing today. Is that real? Huh. Los Angeles Times. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. That's pretty cool. Je suis dans la memories of la prise de l'eau. Loving memory of little Stanley. Is that a hamster or a gerbil? Or a... It's definitely not a guinea pig. I don't think. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote... Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, <laughs> Skyrim, it's Persona nothing. 3. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable <laughs> it's anymore. No games. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> That's actually, that's actually really good. <laughs> the tasteful nostalgic. It was good. Oh, uh, that's a picture of the original game versus the new game. That's pretty cool. And the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Stun here. Memory zone maintenance. Interesting. Begin the game again. On, off, person of the year. I hate Mondays. That's cool. It's like a little screenshot of him making the game. Or them. I don't know if it's multiple people. I would assume it is. Stay in the Parable on a Mac for Scott K. The Collector's Edition. I don't know if... I don't even know if that's real. I, to my knowledge, I've never seen this before, but... I would assume that that exists your number is 29 it's probably from an old ending or something that got scrapped the end is never the end the end is loading that always caught a lot of people off guard preparing snake oil salesman routine <laughs> okay here's another moving passage this time from gamespot.com the Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. I will say, sometimes, so like nostalgia, right? Like you think back to when you were a kid and you're like, whoa, that was Pog. But then like you re, you try to recreate it or like if it's uh, like candy or a, a food, right? You haven't had in a long time. You have it again. Most times, not every time, but most times it doesn't meet that same expectations because nostalgia, I don't know, it has this weird way of like over fantasizing something, which I think can serve to improve you know the experience because as you get older you think back really fondly of that thing um but he's right i think sometimes it's better when like for a movie right sometimes it's better to just have one instead of having sequel after prequel after two three four and then eventually it dies off and people don't like it as much anymore if you just have that one movie it goes down in like history as like a, just a really good movie that just hit its mark and moved on and that's what Stanley Parable did, in my opinion. These were simpler times, Stanley. 
but I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Oh, you! Oh, thank you. I think Stanley Parable hit its mark, too. There was, like... I can't think of, like, anything, like, off the top of my head that I disliked about Stanley Parable. I mean, you get what you paid for. It's a narration game. It's a walking simulator. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh. What does that say? Steam... Oh no. Reviews? Oh, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews <laughs> from Steam, oh, the no. online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Oh no. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? It's Steam. No chair. <laughs> oh no. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! The I'm individual not to be has funny. Cells. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? <laughs> you can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. <laughs> I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know but how much But that's the game. I Without dialogue, game, it's nothing. It's <laughs> light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. <laughs> I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. I honestly, I mean, if I doubt that those reviews are real, but if they are, I mean the game. That's like, it's like clicking on a YouTube video of a monkey eating a banana and then being like, Why is a monkey eating a banana? What is this about? Then you like, give it a dislike. It's like, what do you, you clicked on it and watched it. How are you going to dislike? The title says monkey eating banana. The monkey's eating a banana. How are you going to dislike that? Although YouTube removed dislikes, so I mean, not, big of a, What's this not that big of a deal. Say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Skip well, the game? Well, yes. <laughs> yes, I think we can do what? that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, what? Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. What? And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, <laughs> and it goes something like this. The story and the choices are what happens. Okay, 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 becoming... okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, <laughs> rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I I had to describe it. Oh, I'd say it was perhaps it less of a room. Do it again? <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? <laughs> but that's the power of the button. 
The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? So you're doing but it on purpose, rate, I do so I have a reason to press, press the button, the button again. again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't what? think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to well, maybe please... if I press the skip button. Stanley! Stanley! What? Stanley, please don't push the button oh. again. It's been 12 oh. hours. <laughs> You've just been frozen there. <laughs> I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my Should we do it God, again, guys? No way Should we do it again? Oh. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every. Well, maybe if I skip again, walls. the door will come back. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. <laughs> Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. A week? Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here. Not a single person oh, to speak no. oh. And you think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying no. Oh, I'm going to press button again. No. That it's exactly the same as always. Doesn't that feel like what we've <laughs> always... I'm sorry. He's dead. Is he dead? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. <laughs> I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. <laughs> I've had so much time i stopped keeping track after a year have you ever sat down in one place after a moved year for one entire year let me describe it for you to begin with there is only regret oh no there is no no <laughs> narrator Narrator? What time is it? That's not moving. Okay. Ow, what the frick? Oh wait, is that a door? Oh, that's a fence. Okay. Oh wait, the fence the, the clock fell down. Okay, 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 I'm leaving. Okay. Ah, but geez. they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant oh, to have back? a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. <laughs> they screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then, <laughs> he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us, now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency, it's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences okay, for a lack of cohesion nope. in one's assessment of others. I'm but sorry, narrator, you just have been going crazy now. gone again so why do you just pop up out of nowhere like that what's that sound huh okay skip again I don't the know, end bro. Is never the end. 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 Wait, I hear water. Is never the end. 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 Oh, there's water dripping right here. Is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Okay, 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 okay. Is never the end. Is never the skip. The water's getting thicker over here. Oh, this whole area is like dripping with water. Huh. I wonder if this place is gonna flood or something. 
Oh my. What? The clock is here. The plant is just decimated. The door is still gone. I guess we skip again. What? Now there's something on the clock. Wow, that is really pretty. This game... See, you don't need to have, like, Cyberpunk 2077 graphics for a game to look really pretty. Like, this is really nice. Like, that's some, like, wallpaper... Like, if I'm, like, looking this way, you know? Like, that's some wallpaper-esque stuff. I guess we skip again. Maybe it'll keep collapsing, coll uh, collapsing, collapsing, and then we can leave. Whoa! Can we get out yet? I want to go look around. That looks even better, dude. What? That is so cool. I love that, like, post-apocalyptic, like, the world has died and grown back type of deal. And that green glow, oh, that is so nice. Alright, well, maybe it'll, maybe it'll crack through the... Oh, no. There's, like, nothing outside? Because that's a hole, isn't that? That's... That's a hole that leads to outside, isn't it? So it's like just an abyss now? I don't know why I want to leave. Do you hear that? Bro, this is like a legit ho No, I'm out. Horror. Nah. Nope! Nope! Skip! 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 Oh! Oh! We can... What? This was his memory place, right? It was... Wait... go bro that's so sick what one of those reviews said that um like the game wasn't captivating enough like it didn't i think or maybe i read that wrong i don't know if that if any review says that they fix that in the ultra deluxe holy that was like a roller coaster emotions you had the memory house you had the beautiful music the like the the sense of like i was here 2013 and it's 2022 and we're playing this game again it feels so good to be back and then it trans like it takes you to the reviews and then it goes to the steam reviews and how like there were the bad ones and the good ones and then like you go into that room you skip the dialogue he like you skip him talking which felt like a gameplay mechanic like i could have sat there and listened but i skipped like what would have happened if i had just listened to everything he said and then from me skipping the game just begin be, like had begun to deteriorate over time and so did he, it seemed like. And then the end is never the end, and then he was gone. Oh, it's so good. I feel like I should end it there. That was so good. Let's just let's just go a little bit further. Let's just go a little All bit further. Copley, Mr. Wait, this Memo. isn't the same anymore still. New, new content? Oh, dude. Okay. We'll go check it out for like five seconds, and then we're out, okay? Oh, good. 
you notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Five seconds, guys. Five seconds. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a land. I'm not disappointed and right now. And for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. No way! Is this actually like Stanley Parable 2? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior like masqueraded to a as the deluxe edition? With a few minor additions? So Think many people are going to be completely thrown for a loop. Sequel. What? An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. No jumps remaining. Player... Tears? Time to wake up. Never underestimate coffee enjoyer who never underestimate a coffee enjoyer who left their cup by a leather sofa that faces a blurry room. Wow, that is oddly specific. Just a little bit more. It's, oh, I'm so excited. What is it going to be like? Like, Maybe this isn't, maybe, okay, maybe I'm getting a little too carried away. I don't know. New mug. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. <laughs> this this right here reminds me of the uh, the uh, showcase for Staples' new um, their new logo, dude. It was so overhyped for no reason. Literally, all they did was like change the paperclip or like whatever the staple. To like look more like a staple, I think. I'll, I'll like run a clip of that, but it. <laughs> Dude, when I first saw that showcase, I laughed so hard. It was like one of the most epic showcases I've ever seen for like the most minimal change ever. What? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've... Tom. We will explore this in the next episode. I don't know why I decided to keep playing and now we're at a worse cliffhanger than I have a, than I than if I had just stayed in Stanley's office. But we all make mistakes. We'll continue this in the next episode. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please strongly consider subscribing and liking the video. And as always, stay moldy. I'll see you guys in the next ending. Peace out.